Now, please and day to all my subscribers, my viewers, the obedient family. Thank you for joining me once again. Now, bad leadership will always affect the people. No matter how you try to run out of it, if you're not gaining directly from that bad leader, you will be at the receiving end of everything that is bad. It doesn't matter which ethnicity he comes from. It doesn't matter which uh, locality he comes from. It doesn't matter what religion he comes from. If it's somebody that is bereft of compassion, bereft of integrity, he will always make the people cry. He will always make the people beg. I'm going to be showing you a video of Ogun State, how a very old woman was rolling on the ground, crying, begging the governor that even though it's a one lane road, he should make. And I'm going to back this up with the pictures that of the place actually for you to be able to see. And this is a governor that actually became the chairman, Southern Governors Forum. Rewarded him for nothing. And that is why we keep telling you, no matter what happens, bad leadership will always affect the people. So leadership should be on the basis of compassion, integrity, competence, character. Not tribe, religion ethnicity my own local government political affiliations that should not be the yastic for choosing people into power because if you do that you that don't have anything if you're not directly receiving from those bad leaders you will suffer I'm going to be showing you that video in the GIFI. I'm going, we are going to be talking about it. But before I do that, let me quickly tell you that Files granted an interview yesterday and did justice to the topic. Talking about NSAS, talking about the issue of Kenya and now laying it down straight to the politicians in Nigeria that be very, very careful. Do not push your people to the wall because there are so much inconsistencies, almost the same issue that Kenya is facing. And trust me, the people can no longer take the heat of what it the the, the, the the heat of what you are dishing out or what you're cooking time will come if you're not very careful the people will revolt and when they do it's not going to be funny let me play part of that video and let you see so that we'll come back and continue i think ensars and all the events that transpired around ensars and even post ensars should have been the biggest warning for this government should have been the biggest warning for this government but, but even after we can see that and that's why some people would even argue that, uh, 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 or would even say, you know, would dare to say that NSAS maybe wasn't successful or whatever. But, you know, it's far from the truth. But what I mean is, because of everything that has kept on happening after NSAS, is why people would even suggest that. So it seems like this government, even till today, is still disconnected from the people and the plight of the people. And, you know, like you mentioned, tons and tons of issues that we continue to face, including inflation every single day. Food, the price of food is going up in a ridiculous manner. Insecurity, people are getting kidnapped, people are getting killed. We, we don't seem to have an answer for uh, uh, terrorists. Mm. You know, so many issues. There's the minimum that, wage issue as well. So many issues, that, uh, exactly. The minimum wage issue that even led to uh, uh, the strike, right. that which I actually was... Uh, uh, a victim of because I ended up being stuck in Uyo at the time. All the airports were closed. I was meant to fly the same day. I ended up losing money because I had scheduled to film a video uh, uh, in Lagos. But I couldn't be in Lagos. I'd already paid for stuff. I was furious because of what I was losing, but I was happy that that was happening because it was long overdue. You know, these people are just so disconnected from the people. They never really pay attention you know, to what they should pay attention to. And then when all that happened and they closed everywhere and it, it now affected the ordinary person was when they now said, okay, we'll now meet with these people and now try to negotiate these terms. What happened since? Mm. <laughs> now you've seen it right. I really don't want to bore you with long videos. So I, there, was a, there, there was a video I wanted to play for you where one of the MPs actually went to his own locality in Kenya and then the people used beating to actually, to actually you know, welcome him with beating because it was one of the people in the house that accepted the bill and they beat the hell out of him and what are these people even fighting for the same issue nigerians are facing i think it's high time we stood up 
and say enough is enough because trust me we've had it all over there is a video i want to show you this this um um, um Shane's podcast there was a man that came he was a presidential aide for buhari he he revealed some things that when you hear the level of of criminality going on and how these people have lost their conscience completely it is unbelievable the amount of money these people steal and they don't feel nothing about it and that is why we keep telling you that all these things we keep fighting for tribe religion they are up there doing the needful of making sure that they rip the country dry that is why you see things not every time they bring up something it's it's funny rubbish either they are planning to share food or they are planning to give fifty thousand grants or they, are planning, they have never ever brought in an idea that is workable why because the major reason why those ideas come up is to steal it is not to actually reach out to the people or help the people that is why a president will wake up one morning and say let us give the state governors 10 billion for buses which we know they are not going to buy then let us also use 155 billion and buy go and go to the market and be buying food stuff so that we can share for nigerians in a country where you're supposed to use part of that money and make sure that agriculture is booming the reason why there is hunger in the land is because farmers cannot go to their farms insecurity is all over the place and where the massive land is is in the north the full and headsmen are not allowing even those from the southeast and the southwest go to their farms and then instead of you to start dealing with the issue so that farmers can go food can be produced in mass quantity instead of you to start you know doing uh, put your whole mind and everything in agriculture create a federalist thing where you can people can plant and everything no your own is let us go and buy food stuff because they know that the major reason why they dish out that money they will lie to the people and then they will share it and then they will come back to lie to the people is a continuum so there is nothing that will change unless the people decide on their own and say we've seen through this mess we've seen that religion and tribe is not up there you guys are just using it to deceive us down here and then we decide to unite if not this is what we'll be seeing let me show you the woman and everything that's happening i will come out come back and wrap it up our political leaders to come to our aid. Honorable Ibrahim Isiaka, Ayokule, Honorable Falawe, Fatu Salami, Senator Shuaib, Afalabi Salisu, His Excellency Governor Dakwa, Abiodu, please come to our aid in Ogu State at Akulus. From Giwa to this place, there's no road. Road will only be Zibaragu, Olara, I want the Yavin law, but not in Bo. I want our Giwa. I want to make a go. I want to share it. If you don't go, because I'm not going to just say, I'm not going to be here. Hey, Joe. I want to wash it because you are eating for you. I run a lot. But I'm going to go to the budget. But I'm going to go to the budget. Hey, Joe. I want to wash it. 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 Now you've seen it, right? You heard now for big, those that don't understand that woman and everybody they were protesting against the bad roads, asking the government to fix the road. She was literally crying, begging that poor Biodun, Tinubu, all those senators that are come from Ogu State and all that that are involved to actually come to the rescue. Now you can actually see the state of the roads. You can actually see how terrible it is, how messed up it is, how bad it is. That and these are these are they have representatives, these are places that have representatives in the nation assembly in the state house of assembly they have a governor they have a president that is from the southwest and you know things are too they are, they, things are completely messed up that is why i said we need to be able to hold these people responsible even from the gas, grassroots from the local government from every angle get the right people into power because if you do
you will see that a lot of things will be fixed but when you don't these are they look at where people are for christ's sake look at look at the the part where people are passing through to go to their houses for christ's sake and if it, this thing cuts across almost everywhere in nigeria go to lagos state you see it go to some other states in the southeast you see it there that these people don't literally don't care about what the people are facing their priorities are not with the people i totally agree with files where he said there's a great disconnect between them at the top and people that are under once they get into power they become animals let's continue you've seen it right the woman is literally begging she said it in yoruba for but for those that don't understand what she's trying to beg for is the man she just put small road begging when you elect leaders that are I, am i calling them leaders sorry when you elect rulers that have no conscience whatsoever that is what you get the reason their major role there is to go and embezzle steal loot share for family members and their teams and their friends and that's all and the people remain in abject poverty and what happens after that when they are their criminality has got into a certain estate they increase their ranks criminals get more rank in the country that is why full south southern governor sat down in a round table and went to go and choose a man that literally his people are crying as the chairman i told you that one of the major things that happened in the apc government is the fact that they give criminals more better positions the level at which you can steal and destroy they will give you that's the level at which the next position will reach you they reward them with better positions and until the people are deliberate that is why i'm talking to the people of edo state please do not sit down and be shouting zoning zoning this one that one the edo, edo central have not ruled edo this one have not look for somebody that will help the people that don't care whether you are from edo central that don't care whether you are from edo whatever he just want to make everywhere better that is who the person people should be that's what they that's the basis for leadership competence integrity compassion character that have a soft spot for the people that understand the plights of the people and the sufferings the people are going to and is willing to do everything to put his life on the line to make sure that the people enjoy the dividends of at least being citizens of the country and that state is important because at the end of the day if you follow all those things and you pick somebody that is wicked it doesn't matter where he comes from the wickedness is going to run through and it's going to affect literally everybody I am saying this thing because we need to start thinking even from the local government level down to the state level down to the lawmakers down to the presidency and everywhere looking for people that can actually do the needful that can actually do the right thing i'm going to be making a video of 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 one of these physically i think impaired person in kenya that actually stood up to finish the parliament one single and then you have legions of Labour Party members there that are sitting down there and say, yeah, it's not be, we didn't know it was like this. That have joined the criminality and they are eating fat. We need to be deliberate about people we put in power. And I'm telling the people of Edo State, do well. Because of Baseke, from looks of things, did his own part. For some people he did well, but for me he didn't do nothing. We can't keep celebrating mediocrity in this country. If a man failed, call it failure. Don't use one or two projects with Mr. Project. Rubbish project that they are using to embezzle money. To for theft. So we don't celebrate. Nobody should celebrate mediocrity. If anybody does not deal with human development index as a, as a leader, forget it. You have not done anything. Because we want you to directly touch the life of people. And that is what governance is all about. Let me stop here, guys, so that you can actually drop your comment. Drop your comment in the comment section. Really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. I'm obedient and I'm useful. I hope you are. Fingers crossed. Let's keep holding them responsible and see how it pounds out. Have a blessed remaining part of the Sunday. I'll see you next time.